Hi everyone, it's the new Scratch Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Arca album, Zen. Hey Nori, Nori, come here! Oh, the baby! This little baby! This little baby is so cute! Arca is the pseudonym of a Venezuelan electronic music producer who has been having a pretty great past couple of years. Back in 2012, Mr. Alejandro Garci here released a couple of EPs on Uno NYC Records. These EPs, outside of a few websites and some core fans, didn't really drum up a huge buzz for Arca, but it did end up landing him a co-producer credit on Kanye West's last full-length LP. Not only that, but he got in on the ground floor with one of this year's most exciting singers, FKA Twigs, entirely producing her second EP and taking part in her fantastic new album as well. And now that he has this newfound buzz, he seems to be pulling back a little bit and concentrating on his solo stuff, releasing a full-length commercial debut right here on Mute Records. Now, Arca's material on these past EPs, some incredibly strange and unorthodox stuff, some really glitchy and warped combinations of hip-hop and electronic music, to the point where it was kind of difficult to tell where one genre started and the other ended. Listening to these EPs, though they may be incredibly abstract at points, there are archaisms here that also show up on the new FKA Twigs record. So th there is a pretty clear connection. This artist made these sounds here, then he made them here, and I see these similarities. However, these similarities aren't quite as apparent when I listen to Zen. Arca seems to be doing something pretty different on this record. There aren't as many commonalities here with his past work. There are 15 tracks on this thing. They number up to 40 minutes. And even though they may be very explorative and strange, just like the music on those stretch EPs, a lot of the hip hop influences have completely just dissipated. Many tracks here are actually kind of boundaryless synthetic motifs, midi ditties, if you will. There are moments where I feel like I'm not listening to the guy that produced FKA Twigs, I'm listening to 10 Tricks Point Never, or maybe one of the more abstract names in 90s IDM. This is especially true of tracks like Sad Bitch, and Failed, and Held Together, and Promise. There's nothing awful about these tracks, but I guess I was kind of surprised at just how minimal Arca's approach was on much of this record. There are moments when I'm kind of underwhelmed by the synth work, even though the timbre or maybe some of the few effects laid onto these synths might be interesting, the performances and the playing are actually not that inspiring, especially on a track like Family Violence, which is just like a junk pile of fake strings too busy tripping over itself to actually play anything coherent. Even though I appreciate the experimental nature of some of these songs, this is not the genre bending and defying production that was on those stretch EPs, that was on that ampersand mixtape. This is kind of predictable, despite its lack of accessibility. The meatier and more layered tracks in the track listing here are actually much more enjoyable, even if many of them are as structureless or as boundaryless as many of the more simple stripped back tracks here. Like the title track here, which kicks off with these strange, horrifying horror movie sound effects right at the start, mashed with these huge hits of sub bass. There are some skittering rhythms here and some really eerie synth leads. It's moments like this where this record sounds super unique and I wish Arca just delivered more instances. Or the song Thievery, which is just as cavernous and strange and warped, but there's like this reggaeton rhythm underneath these icy synths and just a cacophony of percussion and samples. The song Tongue is, is creepy and spine-tingling as well with these high-pitched drones and really weird synth stabs. And the song Sisters is, is one of the few moments here where they're very loose instrumentation, though it doesn't really lined up, maybe it's not perfectly quantized or anything like that. Despite the looseness, what the music is playing is actually pretty gorgeous. Especially the timbre of the synths on this track. It's like listening to light shining through diamonds. But tracks like this only make up a, a portion of the record. The best songs here find some really interesting combinations of beauty and darkness. But for every moment there is like that, there's also a kind of formless, underwhelming interlude, a, a musical bridge to nowhere. I really like about half the tracks here. I enjoy the aesthetic of the album anyway, even if I'm not liking the composition 
of these songs. I'm feeling a light to decent six on this thing. Tran. Zition, if you've given this record a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Arca, Zen, forever.